I know some of y'all out there don't like the way that I talk, don't like my voice, don't like the way I speak, but this is a voiceover tutorial. So you're just gonna have to man up, woman up, or cover them up. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's me, your boy, Malik. Yeah, I'm back one more time to bring you some more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Today it's all about the art of the voiceover, so I'm gonna show you how to get your voiceover on in Pinnacle Studio using Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate. Let's get into it. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate, and I'm about to show you how to get your voiceover right. Yeah, you know I like to sing every time I get a chance. Even though it sounds real stank, I'm still going to throw it up in your eardrums for you. Now, before I get started, I want to remind you of a few quick things. The thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on that. It lets people know that the content in my video is good. If you leave comments, I will reply. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the direction to get you the help that you need. And you got to subscribe to the channel if you want to continue to get notifications whenever I upload a video. If you don't do that, guess what? You're going to be missing out and you're not going to get all of the knowledge that I bring to you for using Pinnacle Studio. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel. All right. Now that we're done with all of that, I'm going to show you how to get this voiceover thing going. And I want to show you how to set things up. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to setup and then you want to go to control panel. Once you're here, you want to go to audio device. When you select audio device, it shows you the current audio device that Pinnacle Studio would use to record the voiceover. So you want to click on that device if it is not the one that you want to use. And then it should open up the sound panel and it should show, go right to the recording tab. Now you can tell that it's picking up sound from my short digital microphone and it's picking up sound from my webcam. If I had a microphone uh, plugged into my Scarlett 2 i2, then you would also see that it is, would be recognizing sound being picked up through that microphone. So the microphone that I want to use is my Shure Digital because this is the microphone I use for all of my tutorials. I get my crisp and clean sound that you guys love so well. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to set it as the default device. If I click on set default. You should see a check mark next to that device and now click on OK. And after you click on OK, you should see that device become the current audio device in Pinnacle Studio. So I'm going to click on OK. And you saw that switch over. The current audio device switched over to my Shure Digital Microphone. So now that that is the microphone that's going to be capturing my voiceover, I'm going to click on OK and I can get out of this screen. So now that I know the correct microphone has been selected, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my playhead where I want the recording of the voiceover to start. Now this doesn't have to be the point where I'm going to start speaking. It's just going to be the point where the microphone is going to start recording. So the next thing I want to do is press on the voiceover button. So I'm going to click on that. And once I do, it opens the voiceover tool. So the first thing that we'll see is that the voiceover tool has a readout here of how many decibels um, I'm speaking at or how many decibels it's capturing. Now, this may be kind of hot to some people, but for me, I like to be above the green into the yellow as long as I'm not too far into the yellow with my normal speaking voice because 
I don't want to go anywhere near the red because if I go near the red, then there'll be distortion and you'll hear all kind of noise in the uh, voiceover recording and you don't want that. Some people might prefer to stay in the green. I like to be right around the middle of the yellow with my normal speaking voice. And if you want to make adjustments, all you have to do is click on this little button here with your left mouse and hold it down and you can move this to change the recording input. So I'm going to drag it back to where it was for me so that I'm at my normal speaking voice about halfway into the yellow. So that's good for me. What you can also do is you can mute all of the audio from your computer or you can let all the rest of the audio play. So you click on this, you won't hear anything else. You'll just go ahead and hear what you're saying. Then you have the file name. So you can name the file, whatever you like. And then you can also select where the file will be saved to once the recording is finished. So I'm going to click on this little folder and then I can select a location. Once I select the location, I can press OK. And now I'm ready to start recording. So now all I have to do is press record and I will have a countdown. And then when it reaches zero, the playhead will start moving and it will start capturing what I'm saying. So I'm going to click on OK and start the recording. All right, everybody. So today we're looking at Malik on screen. He looks real crazy. Look at his eyes bulging. Mouth is moving real, real fast. He looks like a fool, but you know what? He's doing it for you so he can make a fool out of himself as long as he's doing it with a purpose. So I clicked on stop and now Pinnacle asked me, would you like to keep your recording? And if you click on yes, then what will happen is a voiceover track, which has just been created down here, will apply the recorded footage to the timeline right where you started to capture the voiceover. So I'm gonna click on yes. And here is the voiceover that I created, got placed on that voiceover track that was created. And now that we're finished, let's go ahead and close this out. And let's play this back. All right, everybody. So today we're looking at Malik on screen. He looks real crazy. Look at his eyes bulging. Mouth is moving real, real fast. He looks like a fool, but you know what? He's doing it for you so he can make a fool out of himself as long as he's doing it with a purpose. And another great thing about this, if you go to the audio section that you saved the footage to, you see that that voiceover file that I created is now saved in here to have the check mark showing that it's being used in the timeline as well. So that's it people. Voiceover tutorial complete. All right guys, you know the routine, the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it. Show the thumb some love, all right? It lets people know that the content in this video is good. Comments, if you leave them, I'll reply. If you need help, I'll try to help you. If I can't help you, I'll point you in a direction so that you can get the help that you need. 
And lastly, if you want to see Pinnacle Studio goodness like this on a regular basis, you gotta subscribe. If you don't subscribe, you're gonna miss out every time that I upload a video and then you won't feel good. You'll feel bad, believe me, okay? Subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.